Let's move this show right along. Your next comedian has himself also a role in the upcoming Adam Sandler movie. You may also see him in CBS's Unforgettable. Let's give a big hand for Stephen Lee! Right. Keep it going for Rojan. Keep it going, Tommy Hudson, for producing the show. Rojan, funny, handsome, hilarious. Thank you very much for using my slave name, which is Steve. What? It's the name my parents gave me to make it easier for the round eyes. So, so you know. True. Someone had to tell you, right? No, but God bless my parents. They moved us from Taiwan to Bergen County, New Jersey, man. One of the whitest counties in America. Man, I'm so white, I'm starting to date Asian girls, all right? No. You know what I mean? Like this close. This close to getting one of those goofy ass tattoos. Like, I don't know, I think it's Chinese or Korean. I think it's power or something. I got in Cancun. Right? This close to going to Asia to teach English for a year. You know what I mean? <laughs> Africa or Latin America. Just to work through my sense of privilege and entitlement. I feel guilty about living that comfortable suburban lifestyle. I don't know. But you know, like culturally, those things are very familiar to me. Ethnically, I get it. I know what I look like, right? I have such a flat ass. That's why I wear two wallets. <laughs> Anytime I'm waiting for the bus, it naturally, it's natural like this. <laughs> and where's Tom, right? Because like, you know, like any proper Asian person, I will eat anything with four legs but the table, my friend. I'm going to join you. What the fuck is that buffet, man? Delicious. But you know what? You realize one very important fact growing up in Bergen County, New Jersey, that there's one magical, special, special evening when all Jewish people and Chinese people are the same called Christmas. <laughs> Busiest day out of any American Chinese restaurant. Tips are the worst. Oh, I'm sorry, this is a comic club Manhattan. I didn't think there'd be any Jewish people here. I apologize. Sorry about that. Are you, I, don't, I don't know if you're Jewish or not. Are you, are you here with uh, Cliff? Yes. Yep, I'm sorry, because, right. <laughs> You're laughing, I see teeth, I see Cliff. That's all I'm saying, all right. Oh, no, but I'm at that weird age when uh, I know my, like, my parents, they still love me, but don't like me anymore, right? Particularly because they think I should be married and have kids, right? And my dad kills me with this one. He's like, oh, you know, when I was your age, we already had you, right? <laughs> like, come to think of it, like, when my dad was my age, he already had four kids and a fifth on the way. Like, my parents do what fucking Chinese people do best, man, have more fucking Chinese, right? And like, I come from a really big family. I got three older sisters, right, younger brother. And all of them, well, all my sisters, they're all married and they have multiple kids, right? And they look at me and they're like, oh, do you want your own? And I'm just like, no, right? Because I like free time and money and wearing dry clean clothes, right? Just like, I'm not ready to have kids yet. And they don't speak English too, which is really, really frustrating, right? They think the one child policy means to have more than one child, right? Or at least one child. I don't know, man. But like, I think the older you get, the lower the expectations, right? Because seven, eight years ago, my parents started real high. They're like, we want you to bring home a nice Taiwanese girl. It was like any Asian girl. Then any girl without a dick. <laughs> Bigger than yours, you know? <laughs> Lower standards now, I mean. Fuck. All that stress about having a fucking kid, man. Yeah, man. I don't know, but New York City, dating is easy, right? It's like really, I, look, here, here, hear me out, hear me out. Like, dating in the city is really easy, right? It's the relationship part. That shit is fucked hard, right? Because we can get you, but we can't keep you. We do a lot of dumb shit for the ladies, right? Just to get you around, you know, fight wars, build bridges, pay cover. Just anything to kind of keep, <laughs> anything to keep you guys around. And honestly, all we want to do is make you laugh and walk funny. That's it. That's it. Keep, trying to keep it simple, ladies. But you date, you make it happen, you see what's going on in the city. I was on this date with this girl. It's all right. I mean, like, help me, help me out in time. So, like, I don't know, you can tell like she dated a lot, like she had all these date questions. 
she was like, oh my god, where are you from? Already like a loaded question already. Like, I, I don't like being asked that question. She's like, so I'm like, I'm from Jersey. She's like, oh my god, no, I mean like, where are you really from? So, I'm like, I'm from Taiwan. She's like, oh my god, really? I love Taiwan. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe this goofy bitch, right? Dizzy bitch, right? You know, and that wasn't even the worst part of the evening, right? The worst part of the evening was me knowing that the smartest thing that was ever going to come out of her mouth was going to be my dick. <laughs> <laughs> and it was! I'm a fucking slow bitch, and I did, man. Dating is just easy in the city, man. It's just fucking easy. He knows, man. It's fucking easy. Getting you guys around, man, that's all I'm saying. Relationships in the city, they age in dog years, right? Six months is a demarcation line, right? So, like, you know, like, you're in the city, six months, they're just like, oh man, when are you guys gonna get married, right? But six months in the suburbs, it's cute, right? So you're not in a real relationship. Yeah, yeah. Six months, not a lot of time. I don't know, man. Like, like I love my parents enough that I don't want to take her home to meet my parents. Because she doesn't practice proper, she doesn't practice proper etiquette, you know? I don't know, man. But I see like this like, this really good mixture in the city a lot. Uh, you know, just like everyone dating everyone else, it just kind of like works out, you know? Yes, no? That's all I'm saying. All right, that's my time. Thank you very much. Give it up for Stephen Lennon, right? Stephen Lennon!